It's been more than a year of political wrangling. Lebanon's feuding politicians have now reached a deal on the distribution of power in cabinet. It's common for them to argue for months, but this time so much is at stake. The incoming government needs to stop the financial collapse. I hope that we can bring our country back on its feet. I hope that this government will be able to function, at least put an end to the bleeding, and we can all come together as one hand to bring back Lebanon on its feet, proud and prosperous. The political paralysis had worsened an economic crisis. The United Nations says more than 80 percent of the population is considered poor, up from 42 percent two years ago. Since then, the local currency has lost more than 90 percent of its value. The minimum wage is worth just $35. Our salary barely lasts two days. We are depriving our own children from what they need. Those officials should return all the money they stole and transferred abroad. The political class is blamed for decades of corruption and unsustainable financing. Months of street protests and international pressure failed to bring about a new leadership. I'm not optimistic that this government can actually undertake reforms because they have shown that they are ready to hijack any reforms that actually help the people versus safeguard the interests of the 1% or the ones who are politically connected. People have been struggling to meet their basic needs. There are shortages of almost everything, including fuel. The incoming government is not the non-partisan cabinet of specialists demanded by the international community to unlock aid. But it appears they are ready to work with what they call a capable government. Miati does say he has foreign backing, but many people feel that there will be little change with the same parties in power. The local currency did gain against the dollar on the exchange market, but Lebanon is experiencing hyperinflation, and in days, subsidies on basic goods will end. The government's formation is only the beginning. Zanakhuder Al Jazeera, Beirut.